Hey everybody, it is AJ here and in today's video, we're gonna learn how to delay sending emails in Microsoft Outlook, both on Outlook on the desktop and Outlook on the web. There are a number of reasons as to why you might wanna delay sending emails. It could be the fact that you work with people in different time zones or you're working in out of office hours. It could be the fact that you want to act like you're working on a project when really you're doing something different or it could be any other reason. Whatever your reason for wanting to send emails at a delayed time, this video is for you. Of course, if you find this tip useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into this. So let's start with Microsoft Outlook on the web. You can see here we're composing a new email and we're just gonna build this out right now. So I'm just gonna compose a quick email to myself. Let's just call this happy birthday because I actually think that is a great reason for delaying an email response. You might know someone's birthday is coming up and you wanna be the first one to wish them a happy birthday. So you wanna send them an email, say happy birthday. So I've got a quick little meme here saying happy birthday and my birthday isn't today. So what we're gonna do is actually go down to where it says send and instead of hitting the send button, we're actually gonna press the little control arrow next to that, and it's gonna give us two options. One is send, and the other one is send later, or delay sending this email. We're gonna simply hit on send later. Now it's gonna pop up, and it's gonna give us a few options. It's gonna say, hey, do you wanna send it tomorrow morning or Sunday morning, or do you wanna select the custom time? I'm gonna go custom time, and I'm actually going to say, let's send it on Monday the 28th, and let's send it at 10 a.m. And all we have to do is hit send. And now that email is gonna be sent on Monday at 10 a.m. And that is how easy it is to send from Microsoft Outlook on the web. Because it's Outlook on the web, you don't have as much controls or functions as you do in the Outlook desktop. And that's what we're gonna jump into now. And now that we're in the Outlook app on the desktop, you actually get a lot more controls and functions when you are actually sending email replies or delayed emails. So let's start again by creating a brand new email. And again, I'll send it to myself to say happy birthday. It's kind of funny sending emails to yourself, but whatever, this is okay. It's for you guys to learn, not for me. And we're gonna say happy birthday one more time. I'm gonna drop in that same photo. And then at the top ribbon here, we have our files, messages, inserts. You actually have the option, which is in the middle of draw in the format text uh, ribbons. We're gonna select an option. And down the bottom here, the second last on the right hand side is the option of delay delivery. And it says here, if you hover over it, specify a specific date and time which this message should be delivered. So if we select on delay delivery, the dialog pops up and it gives us a lot more features and functionality than using Outlook on the web. You can see here, you can actually set the importance and the sensitivity of this email to low, medium or high. You can change the security settings so you may need to encrypt the information that is on here. Of course, you can choose to archive or non-archive the email. You can add in some voting buttons, whether it's a simple approve or reject form. So it could be a holiday request instead of a happy birthday request. You could have, of course, turn on the options for a delivery receipt and a read receipt if you wanna know that the email has been delivered and the email has been read. And you do have the option of actually having replies sent to somebody else or yourself. So I could actually say have replies sent to, and it could be sent to myself, or it could be another colleague of mine because this is gonna be sent during out of office hours and I want somebody else to look after the reply. So you get a lot more functionality when you use Outlook on the desktop than you do Outlook on the web. But if all you wanna do is simply send that email at a delayed time, we just have to go down the bottom here, go close, we are now happy with that, and then we're gonna hit send. So normally when you send an email, it goes into your sent items. But what happens with these delayed email replies is that they actually go down into the outbox. So on the left hand side here you can see our app box now it has one next to it and we can see here that it says who we're sending it to happy birthday and when this was sent and if we double click on this we could actually go back into the option of delayed delivery receipt it's already marked for us letting us know that this is actually a delayed email if we open this up we can actually change the time that you want to have it delivered or sent i actually didn't change this just before but if you want to change when this is delivered or sent you can go deliver not before and then you choose the date and the time. So again, I could say, oh, I made a mistake. I don't want it sent on Thursday. I want it sent on Wednesday the 30th at 9 a.m. Now that I'm happy with making the amendment and I'm actually gonna change it from sending on the 24th to sending on the 30th, 
I'm happy with that. I'm going to close one more time. I'm going to hit send. And now I know that email is going to be sent on the 30th at 9 a.m. And there you have it. It is that easy to delay email sending in Microsoft's Outlook, both online and on the desktop app. Of course, if you found this video useful, let me know by give, giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.